Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 30 of Tropical Rouge. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Well then maybe I should just, yeah, maybe I should just edit this tonight, and then edit the other two shows that I'm gonna do. Shit. God dang it, this is gonna be hard to think about this. Maybe tomorrow. It just depends on how long it takes. What's his face to be done? Oh, it's so, so pretty. Now, see, the question is are we going to see this new attack like every single episode? I mean, it makes the most sense since it is the newest attack, but at the same time, I don't think they're going to like overuse it but something tells me they might yeah for student council president Oh, okay, let's see how that goes. I'm not fucking off. I'm definitely gonna have to repaint these. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I don't know, because I literally now have no freaking time between this and everything else that I gotta do. I'm very... Very stressful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello, puppy. Here. No. <laughs> Come here. Cody! Come here. <laughs> Come here. Alright, alright, alright. For Queen, yeah, Grace. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, Laura, can we not sound a little too cocky right now? I mean, Jesus, girl. Uh, yeah, these are so freaking dirty. Like, oh my God. Even though these aren't real freaking glasses. Like, ugh. Mm 
to not like trying to do my hair last night. Oh my god. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I wonder how that's gonna go. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, in a way, she's already a shoe into him. me <laughs> oh, honey you can't just say that that's good No, but will you be able to do it? If you become the president, you won't have time for it. So that's the connection between them. So then what happened? Why? Why didn't you say anything? Wait, wait, Laura, 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 wait. I know it's about you, but like, Oscar. <laughs> Okay, hold on, wait. Time out. Time out real quick. Laura, are you actually going to be able to do everything that you need to do? Exactly. I mean, yes, it's a good thing, but then at the same time, no, it's not. I mean, ugh. create holidays <laughs> oh god Right? You have to be very logical in a way, you know?
True. Can they, you know, eventually, maybe a couple years later, they might warm up to crazy hair colors and this. But, I mean, y- y'all five are the only ones that got, like, considerably normal main character hair colors. While everybody else is just generic and normal. Yeah, I really did get longer, huh? Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> and you just come when you're done. Your turn.
Oh, that's okay. They got this. Oh, now you know what it is. <laughs> like, oh, what if there's been plenty of villains in the past when one is missing, they automatically <laughs> Oh, I can wait. She wants you guys to be there with you. Well, with her. That's what I meant. Yeah, but still. Because of the fact is you guys did it together. She wants you there when she reads it. So you can be together. And honestly, I think that's cute. Especially when you have friends like that who are like support you on your hopes your wants your dreams everything and you want them to be there like every little step of the way it's really adorable and sweet most like when you become an adult and it's like that it, it depends but you know excuse me it is what it is So something kind of tells me that the other ring that Laura essentially is going to use, that's not probably going to come until maybe like 35, 40. It's got to become, it's got to come before episode 49. We all know that. (laughs) 
Exactly. Well, you didn't ask. <laughs> and uh, like I said at the beginning, it was pretty obvious that she was going to win. So come on now. You can't be <laughs> Pretty. Oh, I'm gonna need a screenshot of that because best girl, like best fucking girl, like oh my god, stop it. Uh, this is such a good episode. I mean, yeah, I hate the fact that you know Laura left, and unfortunately, because of that, she forfeited and everything, which sucks. But it, if if Laura would have won, of course, like she said, she had really good ideas, and I think you know, all three, even though Laura did not do her speech. All three girls had really brand new, unique ideas, even with what's her face saying she wants to follow in the steps of the previous student council president. And sometimes, even when you follow in the same steps, you usually do still have the same or new and improved ideas on anything of situations you had to deal with in the past. And so, thank God, like, I mean, well, technically we did have that. I didn't have it mainly, like... Yeah, we did, kind of. We didn't have, we had, like, a student council thing. I never really did anything. I was just focused on myself at the end of the day. I remember one time, like, in high school, um, we also had, like, in, in our course, we had something very similar to that. And I was like, it has to be people who are, like, kind of, like, outspoken and stuff. Yeah, I'm outspoken, but at the same time, I'm very shy into myself, so, uh eh. Even if I know you, I'm like, mm, yeah, sometimes I'm be very quiet and it's like that. But this is a really good episode for Laura. And then also we got the, the freaking situation on Asuka and the student council president. The former student council president answered because it's been so long. <laughs> We're about to learn so much about her next week, or really a little bit more. So what I'm hoping really for next week's episode is we we get that really good conclusion between Asuka and the former student council president on this graduation trip featuring, you know, everybody else. Um, I feel like they're going to talk more about that situation and maybe why, I'm guessing, Asuka um, ended up quitting tennis because there's so many unanswered questions with this now in the bubble and it officially in this universe and it's there and it's you know out there and ish but it makes you wonder okay what else happened because there is something else there clearly between the two that us as the audience we don't really know so that's the biggest question about next week and then two what else is going to happen between her and Asuka and then what are the things the challenges that Asuka is going to face because of course this is an Asuka focused episode next week so it figures a lot of things are going to happen I think she's going to of course this is probably going to be talking about her future and everything and what she wants to do when this that and the third because in a way, technically, Asuka's kind of the only one who we haven't really gotten that answer from. Um, because with Laura, it's becoming queen. Sango, of course, she's going to take over and make up um, her mom's shop. So we already know that for Mirari, and she wants to be a writer and, you know, make a whole bunch of books, just like Komachi. Um, freaking Manatsu. Technically, Manazu already has a dream with the Tropical Club, but I feel like she's still going to use the thing of Tropical Club later on in the years when she's older. It's just, like I said, Asuka. Asuka's the only one specifically as of right now that either 
we as of right now don't know or possibly I don't remember because it, it, I might have to go back and look maybe if I have time. But really, this was a really good episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 30 of Tropical Reach Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys either next Saturday or next Sunday for episode 31. Bye, guys.